Hey everyone, Axel here from Axel Zulu Entertainment, and welcome back to Stranded Custom Minecraft Survival, episode 22. Oh yeah, this is pretty awesome. Uh, yay. And I am back on Stranded, and today we're going to do the thing that I've been putting off for so many episodes. We're finally going to build the pumpkin melon farm, and we're going to demolish this thing, because it's a giant ugly green square. And it it's not even it might be nice if it was centered on this, but it's not. And I've got way too many cacti. Like I'll tell tell you how much cacti I have. Uh, bound bound. I wish there was a way to. Well, never mind. Uh, but in the maintenance room, you got. Oh yeah, the maintenance room has changed a little, just a little. Uh, carrying the fact that it, the floor is way down there now. But I filled up this chest completely, it's filled up to here, and now this thing's getting clogged with tons of eggs and other cacti. So I'm pretty much forced to take it down because I'm going to have an apocalypse of just cacti filling up the system. I'll never use all this cacti ever, and I can always rebuild it. On uh, Building two layers is probably the wrong idea because it's only been like three episodes since I built the actual cactus farm. And it's already just like completely filled up maximum capacity. In addition to all those being filled, look what we got here. We got even more cacti. I, I'm about 11 cacti away from the cacti apocalypse of not being able to take on any more cacti. But before that, we got some short, we got to take down the thingy and project iron sunk. Look how much iron I've gotten. Because it's been uh, like over a week, oh my, uh, since I recorded the last episode. Uh, I've done a lot of AFKing, and I've gone over three stacks of iron blocks, which we're going to be placing down today. It'll be nice and lovely, but, uh, one other thing I have to say is, uh, you, I didn't tell you guys, but about three or four episodes, I was able to get the slime farm working again. It's just the iron golems kept dying, but I made a system, uh, where they not really despawn, not die. I usually kind of stay closer to the base and stuff like that. So, over the last few weeks, uh, five or six weeks I've been farming, and I've told you about every day if I go to school and let it AFK all day, I get about 28 blocks of iron. Well, I get usually about 17 blocks of slime. So I start out with a, a stack of slime when the farm kind of broke. But since I fixed it, I've gotten all of this. It's pretty freaking amazing. Uh, and I'd have to say that's cool. But what we're going to do here is it's going to be really boring once again watching me putting down all of those iron blocks and me destroying the farm. So... I'm in a time lapse, both of those. Oh, and one other announcement. Uh, I notice you may notice I'm wearing the purple fedora again. Yes, I've been wearing my red and purple fedoras a lot lately, but I got them for Christmas and they're wonderful. But bringing your music today once again is the lovely people over at 99 Lives. Go check them out. They are amazing people. So we're going to get our time lapse on right now. Time to place all of these iron blocks and take down that farm.
Well, that's all done, and that was extremely annoying and time-consuming. That's one of the longest time lapses I've done, I'm pretty sure. Not as long as the 30-minute dirting that I did for episode 20, but quite long. And it felt long because I've been getting quite a headache. My head hurts, it hurts quite badly. I do not know why I keep using the word quite. I should probably stop because it's getting kind of annoying, so I'm going to stop saying quite right now. But for the second half of this episode... Even though it's already a super duper long episode, we're actually going to construct this thing. And I'm thinking we're going to put it this far away from the road instead of as far as it was. Because it doesn't need to be all the way back there. I need a little bit of room for stuff. Uh, let's think. This will be the stream where the water goes. Plants. Uh, piston. Wall. That should be just enough. So let's do three, four, five, six. I'm going to go out six on each side for the water stream. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And that should be enough for our water. And then we'll need to... Uh, yeah, that's where the water will go. Let me pull out my buckets so I can collect all the water required for this farm. Uh, it feels weird talking on YouTube again after just, like, doing that for such a long time and having such a headache. Oh, my gosh, I'm in such pain. i got to do this quickly. So I can leave and I can just mope around in my pain. Oh, no. But we need to get this stuff down because I told myself we'd finally be doing this. I put it off for too many episodes. We're doing this now. Uh, so the mechanics of how it's going to work, this isn't going to be super efficient, but it's just going to... Well, I'm not sure. I don't really know how to make a really good tube type farm uh, but maybe I will do a tube type farm uh, so now that I think about it I will do a tube type farm I'm gonna actually I probably should keep this water stream there just not as long uh, let's give it four on each side yeah one two three four yeah yeah there we go I'll just give it a little bit of stuff and we're going to make those tube thingies. Wait, is there going to be enough room here? Yeah, that should be enough room. Uh, yeah, I'll call that enough room. We're going to try to make those tubey thingies that you see in a lot of pumpkin melon farms. We're going to have one... So Whoa. Look at that. That is weird. Look at that. The block didn't update. Now, you saw it there. That's Minecraft being all glitchy. That's how Minecraft goes, apparently. That, it's always really weird when saying like that happens, uh, but apparently it did, so let's see. Yes, this will equalize in the center, so now I need to build uh, a tube thingy for each thingy mcdoodle matoodle. Uh, I don't even know what I'm really saying at this point anymore. So the way you do this type of farm, I'm just going to make it a small tubey wooby thingy. Uh, you build a tubey wooby like that. Uh, I don't know why I'm talking like this. I need to stop, and uh, it's just making my headache worse because I'm actually annoying myself. Uh, and I fell into my hole. Uh, so we're going to just make it small because the problem was I went way too big with the cactus farm. And in three episodes, uh, yeah, three episodes, I'd already exhausted all of that. Uh, well, I'd already gotten all the sugar cane I'll ever need. Not sugar cane. Um, you can notice how bad my head is by the fact that I can't even really speak correctly. Uh, so, yeah, we're not going to be doing too, a massive scale thing. It's just going to be a tiny farm. Uh, you saw when I was uh, uh, time lapse in that, oh my, I jumped on that, that I made a lot of glass off camera. That's because I plan on making this like a little greenhouse thingy. Oh, wait. Oh, I need water going down the center. Oopsie doopsie. Uh... So let's see. Eh. So what I'm going to need to do is block up from here. Eh. One, two, three. Let's go that way and drop the water right down. The no. No. Why, why are you doing that? Why you do that? I did not tell you to do that. That's not good. That's not good at all. That is not good. I do not... Uh. It's odd. Yeah, with water mechanics, I always have a hard time with that, how it just floods everywhere. Uh, let's see if I put dirt like this, if that'll keep it from flooding out. 
Nope, it won't. Uh, maybe if I put blocks here, then I put down the water, and then I take it away, it won't flood all over the place. Let's test that theory. Uh, nope, it's still flooding. It's still flooding. Oh, my. This is going to get very annoying very quickly. Uh, I'm not quite sure how to control the water mechanics. I'm going to have to figure this out. But until I figure out those water effect, uh, water thingies, I'll probably do that off camera because at this point I am exhausted. But I'm going to finish the key essentials of the farm before ending off the episode. Uh, well, maybe I'll just put the source block right there. That might actually work because it only goes above because it's supposed to have multiple layers. But for right now, I'm just doing one tiny layer. So, act, theoretically, that should work because still the water level is on the correct level. Let's see. Let's try it out. And I think that'll actually work just fine how it is. So, that's what we've got there. So, we need to till all of this. Actually, we don't need to till all of it. We need to keep these blocks bad. Yeah. Uh, and you just till the corners of it, which will work. Yeah. Die, Mr. Bad Farmland. What? Oh, no. It's the invincible farmland. No. Good, I killed it. It's dead now. Are you proud of me? Okay, so what we need to do, we'll plant the stuff in there, but for right now, we need our pistons in place. So I'll get out the dirt. Don't need you guys up here anymore and the pistons. So we'll go boop, boop. Actually, that's too close. Huh. And place a block on top of that torch. Yeah. Oh, I only needed one right there. So uh, the melons uh, will be planted here, and they'll grow on these blocks, which, when the pistons extend, will destroy the pistons. So that's how it's going to work. Uh, that's how... Uh, why do I keep doing this? Uh... I know. I'll catch you when I get all these pistons in, in a minute or two. And voila, we have all of the pistons in their correct locations, meaning what we need to do is we need to hook redstone up to all of them, which is where this birch wood comes in. You have to place it on top, I believe. So I will create little rings of, that will create, for this farm, I'm just going to create a ring to put the redstone on. I'm probably going to end up needing more redstone. I'm not sure if I took enough now that I think about it. Uh, so we'll put a ring of red, uh, the ring of redstone around this puppy. And we'll put another one on this guy right here. And so this is saving up to be a pretty good farm we have right here. I'm going to have to definitely do decorating off camera. And I have to be really careful now because I've had all my torches per placed perfectly so that nothing can spawn in my con in Stranded City. Uh, but now that I have taken them down, uh, it's now a very dangerous place to be. So I'm going to jump into bed before that allows me to die the light. Blah, I don't even know what I'm talking about right now. I'm very delusional. Uh... So, let's jump into bed. I've got songs stuck in my head, so I can't, it's hard because it's like you're listening to a song while doing a Let's Play, which is a bit odd. I've never done that before, but I hear it in my head because I've got a song stuck in my head. But I decided today I'm not just going to say, poof, I've made something. Do you like it? Ta-da! But let's hook these two up right here. And so I need some building blocks to get up there. Huh, huh. Now we can start laying the redstone. Uh, so to get this thing to activate, I ha have put a daylight sensor. The first one I've made in this entire world, and I'm putting it on nighttime mode, so at night it will uh, suit out its redstone signal, which is good. Up, oh, it's suiting it out now. That's odd. Uh, let's see, will it power that? I might need to add a repeater into here. Uh, let's see, it won't power the fourth one, let's see, and, eh. Okay, during the daytime, it'll activate, but at nighttime, that seems odd, it's activating three of them. 
Uh, I might have to work this out. I do not know how to work with these types of things very well. Uh, it should be near midday. It should, they should all retract because it's the exact opposite of night. So it should put out no signal during the day. Like right now, that's only powering one piston. Is it the same over here? No, that's powering three pistons. I wonder why. Uh, now it's only powering two pistol, uh, pistons. Why am I saying pistols? We don't have guns here. Huh? Whoa. Look at that. That piston is stuck. Wait, maybe... Oh, this block's also powered. Whoa. Look, I've created a piston that stays extended indefinitely. Now that is odd. I'm not quite sure what could cause that, but for the most important part, we need to add our seeds. Uh, my farm was different at the beginning, so uh, I have more seeds than I actually need at this point. So I'll just... Oh, no, I fell in here. Dang it. I did not want to fall down in here. And now I just fell down in here. Uh, poopy, poopy, butt, poo. Huh. Huh. Now at night, these will trigger, and that'll be all good. And so we got the melons in it, and now we just need pumpkin seeds. Huh. 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 Okay. So now I'll just have to, tonight, we'll have to come back and check to see if these are working. So I think... At night, I will come and we will see if these extend when they are supposed to, which would break anything going out. And I'm thinking at midday, the fi these first pistons will deactivate, or at least they should. So we'll test that. I'll catch you guys back here at night time. I just have to wait a little while for night time to come, and then we can see how this works and I'll call it an episode. Okay, so it's nighttime now, and as you can see, all the pistons have extended. I waited until midday, and I checked, and all four pistons uh, went back into their slots. They're all gone. Uh, so, and the moral of the story is, is that this thing is going to work, most likely. I can't see any reason why it wouldn't work. If there were any uh, melons there, they'd be broken and tossed down into the hole which would suck them down to that piston, which would suit them down here over to my base. And that's all fine and dandy. So I'm going to empty out my uh, reserves. I have, I made, I already made the automated system, the sorter down there, ready to sort such objects as pumpkins and melons. And I'm going to wait, uh, I'm going to take all my items out of there so I can see exactly how many I make by next episode, which is good. I'll have to wait for these things to grow. They're growing really slowly for some reason. I think I need to re-log to get them to grow faster, because I've been doing Minecraft for a while now. And I'll probably just bone meal them to get this process started. So if you enjoyed this, leave a like, comment, and maybe even subscribe to join the Axel Empire. Oh, wait. Before I end off the episode, I have one duty to do, and that is to re-download the map and see what it looks like now that I have the farm. The farm. Uh, so let's see. And it actually does look a lot better than when it was a cactus farm. I like it. It's like those two little rings instead of a giant green blob. So I'd say that is definitely an improvement, and it's going to be a nice farm. So if you enjoyed that, leave a like, comment, and maybe subscribe to join the Axel Empire. I have a horrible headache, and I need to go get some rest right now. i probably not even edit this for like an hour or two. So until next time, I'm Axel from Axel Zulie Entertainment, and goodbye!